Robert Fearborn with the Washburn Review. Today we're reporting on the open house on the Menninger property, Carlisle Woods. Washburn's Maybee Library was host to a special open house for the Menninger family, whose late Dr. Carl Menninger is well regarded in Topeka for his trailblazing work in criminal justice and psychiatry. In the past, the family dedicated a special property, Carlisle Woods, as a biological field lab for Washburn. Professor of English Tom Averill was in attendance and shared history on both the Menninger family and the extensive Kansas Studies book collection they contributed to in Maybe Library. Well, the open house came about because there's so many uh, Menninger people who were wanting to get together and have a reunion, and about 300 people were going to be in town. And I, in the basement of this li Maybe Library, I. I have a special Kansas Studies collection of books that I've been putting together for the last 50 years. It had to do with Kansas, and of course, Menninger is a big part of Kansas, so I've been collecting books and clippings and articles, photographs about Carl Menninger, the Menninger Clinic, and of course, Carl was a graduate of Washburn University. His father taught a course here in 1939, and Dr. Carl had regular sessions with the Criminal Justice Department up until his death and he donated the biological research area that's now known as Carlisle Woods out on Rochester Road north of here. Uh, it's called Carlisle Woods because Carl Menninger and Jean Lyle, his wife, uh, named it that and then when they were ready they donated it to Washburn. So biology students use it for field research. So we just thought if Menninger people are going to be in town Let's just host them uh, for, a, for a brief event, show them what we have, encourage them to give us more uh, articles and books and photographs so that we can make the collection bigger and really tell the story of Menninger in Topeka. I happen to be a Menninger child. Uh, my father came here to study psychiatry in 1953. So I grew up in Topeka be as a result of, of Menninger being here. The daughter of Dr. Menninger, Rosemary Menninger, was also in attendance and shared some of her memories of when the family interacted with her father's patients, as well as lessons she learned from these experiences. Well, um, I, it's very exciting, mm -hmm. and it's great to see people. One of the returnees just described the experience in a very... Uh, apt way, I think. He said that in psychotherapy, you talk about your overall sense of an event or a time in your life that was formative or something. And he said, over time, then when you look back through memory at that, it, uh, if it was a bad thing that happened, it will have an atmosphere of storms and and lightning, I guess, but if it's a good thing, it'll have a glow. And that he said that's what coming back to this is for him, that this was a formative, very important thing in his life, um, and he loved working here, and that coming back reignites that, but with this soft, warm glow. Uh, and I think people are feeling a glow. This has been a report from the Washburn Review. Thank you for watching.